Oh, what's up, my pilots? Angry Poncho here. We're back playing Morrowind. Uh, in the last episode, we were given a new assignment from Kaya, so let's check our journal and see what it's said to do. We need to go and find it to the sixth house base and destroy it. So he says we need to go and talk to Reza Puya and Fort Buckmoth first. And Fort, Fort Buckmoth is just south of Aldrune. So, I know the best way to get to Aldrune. That would be the Silt Strider, of course. Just for nine. For, for just 19 gold pieces. You know. Ah, same low price. They make a special trip just for me. So if I recall correctly, this fort is not very far from Aldrin. And by I recall correctly, I mean from my failed recording yesterday. <laughs> oh, I spent an hour recording about half of this quest and then realized that my microphone wasn't recording the whole time. So... Whoops! Let's try, let's try that again, shall we? One way or the other, I'm going to do my best to keep it engaging the second time around. Doing commentary twice is always kind of a weird experience, so we'll just see how things go. It's always a little bit different, even though I think it's not going to be. It's, I didn't notice this tree the first time. I saw a lot of blue-gray in it. I like that. Maple. I think Maple would like that tree. Okay. <laughs> now, I'm, now I'm looking for the enemies that popped out the last time I was here, but some of it's randomly generated, so who knows? Does anybody really know what time it is? Does anybody really care? Anyway, enough Chicago jokes. So this is the fort right here. Uh, not very far from Aldrin at all, is it? Well, geez, look, there's a door right there. I didn't even have to go out the gate in the front of the town. Oh, well. Which, can I just point out, that's not even a gate. There's just two towers and a big open space in the wall. Like, why even have the wall? <laughs> you're not keeping out bandits. You're not keeping out roaming monsters. You're not keeping out anything. Oh, check this out. The sun is rising over there. And the shadows are slowly, slowly, but ever so surely, creeping down the wall. And that's really cool. These mods make the game look just freaking great. Very nice, very nice. So here's the fort. Let's see if we can't find Reza Puglia, or whatever her name is. Man, why did they put the Skyrim logo everywhere? Derp, derp, derp. Hello. Can you... Hey, you want to turn around and talk to me? I only have a few Ooh. Minutes. Wow. Jeez, this, this is something that you don't see in, in other <laughs> Elder Scrolls games, at least unmodded ones. A, 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 a woman who actually looks like a woman. Most of them just look deformed. Does she have leopard print on her armor? Jeez, <laughs> what? That's hilarious. Anyway. Hello, Poncho. Did you want to talk to me about some... talk some more? We haven't talked at all yet. I'm pretty sure about that. Only one trooper returned. He died soon after. So they, so they found this base, apparently. Horribly disfigured from corpus disease and out of his wits. In his ratings, he spoke of a cavern called Ilunubi. It's not on our maps. And it says... Uh, they fought with cultists and half dis and disfigured man beasts, corpus monsters. Uh, they fled the attackers and got lost in the caves, and then they ran into a half man creature named Dareth Gares. This Dareth Gares slew the rest of the patrol, but spared one trooper. He told the trooper that he was being spared, so he might tell that tell others that the sleeper awakes, the sixth house has risen, and Dagoth Ur is lord, and I am his priest, and all will be one with him in the flesh. That's some biblical imagery right there. Either that, or he's trying to say that Dagothur is going to have sex with everyone in Tamriel. One way or the other, I think we're going to have to put a stop to this. The trooper awakened outside the caves and returned here. We couldn't recognize him. <laughs> you couldn't recognize him, so how'd you know it was him? I guess it was because of the corpus disease here. He's very disfigured. And he didn't respond to questions. He kept rambling like a madman until he died. Do you know anything about this disease? I've heard of it before, but never seen it. The trooper's flesh was swollen and covered with growths. His bones twisted and lost their shape. He spoke to himself as if, as if in a dream. We didn't recognize him at first, except for his clothing and armor. Ah. The fort chaplain tried spells and potions, but couldn't cure the disease. He died soon after he reached the fort. Didn't realize how fast Corpus kills. It sure wasn't pretty. The troops seemed shaken. I'm a little worried myself, to tell the truth. So you don't know where this cave is, exactly? It's a sea cavern. Locals in Narmok can tell us about it, huh? And that's the directions to Narmok. Well, it's not hard to get to Narmok. Thank you. Thank you, Pulia, for your assistance in this matter. 
Normok's not far off, and we've actually been there before. So we're... where are we? We're here. And Normok's just over there. We actually walked there to escort uh, Pimini the traitor, the woman who gave us the Boots of Blinding Speed. So I'm going to go ahead and travel to Normok. You guys don't probably don't want to watch me do that. It's the same road we followed last time. I'll just meet you guys there. Ooh, hello. Oh, well, that was fun. So I was using the boots of blinding speed to try and get here quicker, and I ran into a fence. Anyway, I made it most of the way, but now it's time to rest and meditate on what we've learned. I'm not going to do that yet, though. Alrighty then, we've arrived here in Narmak. Cool, huh? This Pemini's still standing out here. I'm finally here, thanks for your help. Yeah, okay. Yeah, alright. So somebody here is supposed to know where this this weird cave is. What is that over there? It looks like some kind of ruin just south of town. This better be important. Hey, buddy, how's it going? And your poncho, fine. That's all taken care of now. Why don't you tell me what you want? Hey, do you know where Il Ilanubi is? Concerning this, I can only speak to a friend. Well, what if I admired your long and luscious beard? <laughs> you noticed? Yes, Poncho, it's true. <laughs> yeah, where's the cave? <laughs> oh, I'm so glad that worked. That's what they call the old sea cave on the north end of the island, right on Cartog Point. Don't be poking your nose in there. Someone might object. Hmm, sounds like he knows something I don't. Where's Cartog Point? It's on the west coast, not far from here. It's a gigantic boulder. Some of the orcs consider it a landmark? Why? I don't know. Some orc or another jumped off in a dare. <laughs> Didn't end well. Well, that sounds fun. No, oh, he knows about Pemini, too. Oh, that one. She's got... What? She's got a bounty on her head, I believe, although no one would bother trying to collect on it. She's a slippery one, often deals in shoddy items. Great promise, low reward. You know. Yeah, we know. She has a bounty on her? You're kidding me. There's a price on her head. I don't know how much. People take, don't take kindly to being sold shoddy goods. I'm about to collect a bounty. <laughs> I think I can just start throwing it down because she's got a bounty on her, so I don't even have to get her frenzied. Hoo -ha! Here we go. Don't you try and heal yourself. Uh -uh, girl, uh uh. Don't you be healing. I'm not giving up that easily. Oh, we need to rest and meditate. This is gonna be close. Oh god. Ah! She is a slippery one, and I'm dead. Why didn't I just use a potion? Let's try this again, shall we? <laughs> Very satisfying. What else have you got for me? 30 gold? Seriously? Didn't I? Man. Yeah, crummy stuff. Hey, I don't have a belt yet. I'll take that. Huh. And expensive clothes. Now I can wear all kinds of stuff. Seems I have clothes on under my armor and a robe on over it. Oh, Pemini. Never thought I'd see you like this. Where, where are they getting this fancy freaking underwear in this? It doesn't make any sense, man. Anyway, we now know where Cartog Point is. It's on our map, I believe. Yeah, it's right here. Cool. So, let's go there. Sounds good, sounds good. And I'm actually, I don't think I'm going to go in just yet, because we, we're ready to level up. So I'm going to go back to Balmora and get some training. And then we'll level up. And get some. I'll get some training for the next level as well, so we'll be set to go on that front. And then, oh wow, I thought that was a rock. You actually fooled me, Mr. Mudcrab. Salutations to you. Well done. Oh, look at all the mushrooms. Shrooms. Shrooms. Bungler's Bane, Hyphophasia. You know, the classics. All the good shrooms. And then Luminous Rustula. No, it's Violet Corpinus. Man, I feel so dumb. I misidentified a mushroom. Look at all these. This is great, man. Draggle tails and 
Violet Corpness stuff. And I think what can we make with these? These are Luminous Rustle up here. These are the ones that glow at night. Actually, I think Violet Corpness might glow as well. Somebody going after me? Oh, Jesus! What? Oh, there's a rat. My shield comes up, and I'm thinking, what is that attacking me? I'm being attacked by something made out of glass. What is this? Hello, hello. Ah, this is the cave. All right, so this is the spot here. What I'm going to do is... What I'm going to try to do is I'm going to mark this spot. Dang it, come on. Dang it, all right. I have to use my Restore Magicka Potion. There we go. This spot is now marked. Cool, so we can return here fairly quickly. I'm going to take the long way home, which means I'm going to go talk to the guy uh, with the boat over there and see if he can take me somewhere where I can get a Silt Strider back to Balmora. And then we'll warp back here. So I'm going to go to Balmora and get some training. I'll meet you there. Looking for something in particular? Alrighty then, we're back here in Balmora in the Mage's Guild looking at this badass looking mage. I like a dark elf with a flat top, and that's kind of cool. So I'm going to get training in a few different things. I want to start raising my stats as best I can from now on. So that now we're so rich, I can afford to just buy the training whenever I like, and as much as we want. So I'm going to try and get plus five in endurance, uh, willpower, and uh, I'll pick another one, probably, probably agility. So I'm going to get do that by getting some points in alteration and mysticism. And then I'll move on to the next trainer here. Oh, you cannot train a skill above its governing attribute. Well, there you go. Yep, that's what happens. That's why we need to start getting our attributes up. Three, four, five, six. Okay, that makes ten total, which is what we need. So that's willpower done. No, don't fly away! Jeez, what do you? What can you train me in? All right, same stuff. All right, I need. Okay, let's go to the fighters guild to get our next training. So what do you? Alrighty then, we're here in the fighters guild. I'm gonna get some training here. Uh, you know, actually, I'm gonna switch to heavy armor, just because it's cheaper. What do you want? We're at a lower level. Take ten levels of heavy armor training, please. So the heavy armor takes up the endurance that we want, and now I'm going to get. Oh wait, I may have already had heavy armor training, or what, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we only need to raise right. endurance a few more times. Now I want blocking. Can you train me in... Oh, hello. Block? Yes. I'm going to take 10 levels of block as well. Alrighty then. That should give us a perfect level up. Let's go take a nap in one of the beds, shall we? I took a nap today. First time in a long time I actually took a real nap. Very cool. So, willpower, 35. Agility, 45. Endurance, 85. Very cool, very cool! And now i got to pick which, which training I want to get for my next levels. So I think I might go for Armorer, which would be cool. i know I got to get Endurance. So I'm going to do Endurance... Um, I think I want to do... I could do, I could do Agility again. It's my ability, to, it's my ability to, sk to skip getting hit, so... I'm going to raise my block skill. I'm always carrying the shields, I might as well be able to use it. So I'm going to raise block, uh, heavy armor, so that's endurance, agility, and then I'm going to raise... Well, actually, you know what? I can probably get an armor point just by fixing my stuff that's broken right now. I think it's funny that there's no repairing minigame or anything like that. You just click on the item until it fixes itself, and every time you do it, it's just rolling dice to decide whether or not you succeed. Jeez, that left pauldron took a lot of attempts. Here we go, come on. I have full fatigue, so I'm not wasting these hammers. Wow, look at that, I ran out. That's crazy. Use up the hammer, too. It takes a lot to raise that. Yeah, I'm gonna get armorer, or maybe I'll get athletics. That would be even better. Make me move more quickly. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll pick something. Anyway, first thing off is heavy armor, because that's our endurance, which is what we gotta have. So, I believe you teach me heavy armor. Yes. So, what do you want? What? I should rest and meditate. Oh my god! <laughs> Whoops. I think training in mysticism and 
alteration may have not I may not have thought this through. Now I'm gonna have a bunch of level ups coming. All right, well we'll just keep we'll keep doing this. Uh, but each time I need to have the right amount of training here. We should have done this ages ago. So I just got block and heavy armor. So that's agility and endurance. And then I'm gonna pick Let's speed I think for my third one this time. So I'll do athletics. Okay, great. There we go. I got athletics. So we should be getting plus five to three stats again. So let's take another power nap. This is power level. This is power leveling through power napping. Oh yeah, agility, endurance, and speed. Very cool. Awesome. And now we have 33 out of 10. Okay, I have to. This is ridiculous. And I still have 70k. I could. I could just keep going and get all my stats as high as I wanted. That is crazy, man. Even without the only thing that we glitched through was or exploited through was getting our endurance up early in the game. But now I've got such so much money that I could afford to just be like, well, I'm just gonna drop 10, 20k right now and pretend that I paid for it, you know. But uh, okay, well let's keep going here then. Um, what else do I want to do here? I guess I can start getting, I can start training skills that aren't major skills, so I stop making myself level, but honestly leveling up is not a bad thing in Morrowind. It, like I say, it makes you really powerful over time. So what I'm gonna tr what I need to do is try and focus on... Okay, so let's see. Who could do... do? See, training in my major skills... See, it, it, I'm not going for a perfect leveling here, of course, but if I'm gonna be training, I might as well train in, in a smart way. So... Let's see if I can't start putting some points on some levels. So I guess the first thing we got to do every level is make sure we get that endurance. So I'm going to get some more heavy armor training. Hopefully I won't run out of money or anything. So what do you want? Okay, I think I'm going to go for armorer. This well, no, let's try and pick things that aren't on my. Well, I could pick things that are on my list. It'll just keep me leveling up over and over and over. Okay, let's do armorer. <sighs> <clears throat> I think I'm going to do athletics again as well, because being able yes, to move okay. fast is such an advantage in this game. Okay, was that was that all three? Oh, balls. No, I can't even remember how much I've done. Um, let's see. I did... I think athletics was the third one. One way or the other, I get an autosave before I sleep, so... Let's try it again. Yeah, I got three this time again. Good. Okay, endurance plus five. Oh yeah, only one more time on that. And then speed and strength. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, I, I didn't read the thing at the last level. Oh, that's too bad. You woke today with a new sense of purpose. You're no longer afraid of failure. Failure is just an opportunity to learn something new. That's a fairly good outlook on things. I still have four more levels just in my pocket. And I'm going to get more from the training I'm about to do. So this is going to go... This is going to go on for a while here, actually. I hope this isn't boring. Maybe I should vlog over this. <laughs> nope, I have a vlog channel. All right. Let's see. Just decide where I want to go next with this. Um, well, let's finish off endurance just to be clear about things here. We'll go ahead and get those last levels of training in heavy armor. Or anything else here that, that does endurance? Spear and... Okay, we'll do heavy armor. And they say being rich doesn't give you an advantage. Come on. All right, what else do I want here? Ho oh, hum. We could do pretty much anything we want. I'm gonna go back next door and get some more magical training for a while. That sounds good. Now that we're done getting our endurance picked up, I can get points in illusion and things. What do you want? Or maybe even enchant. That would be cool. So what have you got? Oh, alchemy. That would be good. Let's get some alchemy training. Okay, I had to get some enchant along with that alchemy because I hit the, the peak of what they could train me to. Yeah, you got a lot of scrap metal and stuff just sitting here. Okay, so what other stat do I want to hit next? Um, I could try and get my agility to go higher if I wanted. Or speed. Can anybody train me an unarmored? That would be cool. You can't. I think I've checked everybody. I don't think anybody has unarmored. Oh well. Alright, I'll go for alteration and mysticism again then. Alrighty then. Looking for something. Time for another power nap. This is crazy. I, I forgot how, how being rich could give you such a boost. <laughs> oh gosh, here it goes. 
Being smart doesn't hurt, and a little luck now and then is nice, but the key is patience and hard work, and when it pays off, it's sweet! 100 endurance, oh yeah, oh yeah, that feels good. Our health is gonna freaking skyrocket soon. Alright, now I gotta start pumping my intelligence up, because I need to get my magicka going crazy. So I gotta find some, some stuff I can do to train my intelligence, which I believe is gonna be enchant. So, let's go ahead. Can you train me in alchemy? No, you can't. You guys don't know enough about it to teach me anymore. Alright. So this skill governs the creation, use, and recharging of enchanted items. Skilled enchanters are more successful at creating new items. Enchanted items burn less power and recharge more efficiently for a trained user. Cool. Okay, that's enchant. I'm gonna do mysticism and... I still have 48,000 gold. Mysticism and alteration again. So that's willpower and intelligence done. I guess I could get some illusion training to make my personality go up. Who knows how to do that? I think it was the High Elf. Where is she? What was her name? Ar Arlen Wen or something like that? Where did she run off to? That's strange. She's almost always downstairs. I didn't see her, though. Let's... Wait, you don't know train illusion, do you? Nope. What is this about? No, I can't get training from you because you don't like me yet. Oh well. That's fine. Whatever. Meh. Oh, there you are. You're hiding in here. Yes, I'd like illusion, please. Which, hey, you know, that's actually, that's personality. Do I even want that? Actually, I could probably use a little bit more personality. Ooh, ah, that's gotta hurt. People cracking on my personality in a video game. Alright, are there anything else that would be better? I mean, agility's good. I think having such a low personality does make it tough for me sometimes, so I think it's fair enough to take some personality points. Uh, gosh, I'm still on the fence about this. I'm trying to think of it as a better way to spend these points. Let me, uh... No, I'm gonna go in back next door and get some more points for my speed by training in athletics with the Hasfat Antapolis over there. You can't train me anymore in athletics, unfortunately, so I'm getting a hand-to-hand -hand instead, which also raises speed. It's weird, I said things turn out differently, I didn't do any of this training my last session, so this is crazy. Alright, let's rest again. You have ascended to level 12. You can't believe how easy it is, you just have to go a little crazy, and then suddenly it all makes sense, and everything you do turns to gold. Everything I do comes from my gold. Crazy. All right, this is awesome. We got pretty decent. We got a pretty decent lineup of skills now, and our our health bumping up, our magic is going up. Great, 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 great. I'm gonna have to compare our stats from the beginning of this video versus the end of this video, and it's gonna be nuts how different they're gonna be. Okay, so let's get. <laughs> let's get. How many do we have saving? I saved up 47. And we still have more and more levels every time because I keep buying skills that are major skills. Okay, let's get some armorer and some some illusion and some. Uh, that's probably enough for right now. Armorer, illusion, and then maybe block. Let's see. So who does uh, armorer training? Is that you? No, it's the other dude. It's, it's the dude with the, the viper blades. 10. Okay, that's Armorer. So there's Strength going up. Did I want to do Block? Who was it that had Block? It wasn't you. I think it was somebody downstairs. No, it was you. Okay. One. Alrighty then. I went down to the Corner Club and found some random people who were willing to train me in a couple things, so that worked out alright. I'm gonna go take a nap in Caius's bed. My pleasure. Yes, until I'm healed. Aha! Speed, strength, and agility. Nice. It's the most amazing thing. Yesterday was hard, and today's easy. Just a good night's sleep, and yesterday's mysteries are today's masteries. Uh-huh, uh-huh, but on a shirt. What was that? Hey, what about the Blades trainers? Where are they? Okay, so we got Rithlene, Tayer Malin, and the Nine Toes here in Balmora. I feel like you already told me about those at some point. Yeah. Okay, so Rithlene, Tire Malin, and Nine Toads. Okay. I'm sure that he told me about them at some point. Let me look back and see where 
I, I know I know where they are, so let me find them. Hmm. Okay, apparently two of them live just a few doors down from here. Upstairs, I think? Let's see. Yeah, here's Rithleen's house. She's supposed to be an, a warrior. So how are you trying Hello. Anything I can do to You're a blade, huh? You look like Beyonce. What have you got? What can you train me in? Long blade, block, medium armor. Okay, that's cool. I don't know if I need any of those. I've got too many levels piling up, man. Uh, I don't need medium armor. Block would be cool, I guess, if she actually can train me in it. Wow, okay. Let's do it. Oh, she only can give me three levels. Dang. Lame. Lame. I'm gonna go down to the corner club and see what people will train me in. It's just around here. This is gonna be a, a editing nightmare for me, but whatever. All this silliness. So you here, you'll train me stuff, won't you? So you don't know any more about block, but we can finish agility with you with sneak. Ten. Okay, so that's ten in agility. You won't train me unless I join the Thieves Guild, will you? Nah, 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 I don't know. We'll see if that's worth it or not. Probably not. And you... Yeah, here we go. Acrobatics. Security. <laughs> sure. Let's do security. Ten! Wow, I hear a lot of voices. Okay, now can I get training in acrobatics? That would be cool. Ten! Alright. So that should be... Another level with three stats getting a plus five. Let's run back up to Caius' place and take a nap. Show sure enough. Strength, intelligence, and agility. It's a beautiful thing. Today you wake up full of energy and ideas, and you know somehow that overnight everything has changed. What a difference a day makes. Cool. Let's roll back out there and get some more training. It's crazy, man. We're going to finally tick down until we run out of levels. <laughs> Might be a while, though. Where was the other trainer I was supposed to... Oh, here you go. Here's Tyre Malin's house. This is one of the other Blades trainers. What do you, what do you train in? Enchant. Mysticism. Restoration. Let's do some enchant. Yeah. And now I think I'm going to get agility by getting some more sneak from this guy down in the corner club. And that'll round off another level for us. This is going crazy, man. I'm running... I'm starting to run lower on gold, though. So this... This isn't a permanent kind of thing. We're going to run out eventually. Greetings to you. A pleasure, to, a meet pleasure to meet you. Okay, so how's it going? I was just here, dude. Don't act like this is a surprise. Agility, willpower, intelligence. Freaking great! Today you suddenly realize that life, that the life you've been living, the punishment your body has taken, there are limits to what you can do, and perhaps you've reached them. Yeah, right! You've wondered what it's like to grow old. Well, now you know. We're not that old. Come on! We're not wizened. Look at us. Look at how unwizened we are. Oh gosh, actually, we do look kind of old, don't we? What the hell happened, man? Got a wrinkly face. Doesn't matter. The older we get, the more of a badass we become. Because <laughs> we're doing all this stuff and we're old. Alright. Slowly, slowly working our way through here. Let's go try and find Nine Toes. She lives around here somewhere. She's supposed to be one of the Blades trainers. Wouldn't it be funny if they all live right next to Caius? So there's Rithleen and What's-His-Face that live in the same building here. Where does Nine Toes live? Is this just a roof? Oh, there's another house. Okay, it's the same house. So I think it looks like Nine Toes is probably going to be a sneaky kind of person. So we'll see if we can find... Ah, here we go. Some get some training from her in the skills that we are not majoring in, so we can stop leveling at some point here. Ah, hello, Nine Toes. Such fine Ooh, you're a dude. One would be wise to the sneak, Illusion, and Athletics. Oh, wow. You know what? I'd like to take all of those, except Illusion I can't really get because, ah, personality is... Oh, well. Oh, well. Okay, so let's take uh, Athletics as much as he can do. Oh, he can't teach me any more about athletics. Okay, I need three more points in speed. I know where to get those. My of course, guys, of course. Time for another nap! I've been, just, I've been running around getting training from everybody, man. It's nuts. Speed, willpower, agility. Who don't even know, man? You don't even know! I'm gonna go for some more intelligence at this level. Seven. Eight. 
I'm out of gold! It finally happened! I'm out of gold! Wow! Okay, well, I guess we're done! Yes! Whew, thank goodness. I'm gonna go sleep over and over again in Caius's house and get the rest of these levels. Well met! Let's do this. It's time for a series of naps. Strength, intelligence, agility, magical powers. I'm not even reading the level up screens anymore. That's probably bad. Your challenge is now to stay at a peak as long as you can. You may be as strong today as any mortal who has ever walked the earth, but there's always someone younger, a new challenger. Where do I put these points? <laughs> Personality, luck, and willpower. No, they said my lowest stats. Why not, right? The other ones are all decent. If you want to above 70, it doesn't even matter. Okay, so, rest again. Putting points in luck is kind of funny. Something I almost never do. You know, I'll put, I'll put one more in agility. Why not? And I see, I know I'm going to get skills in speed and willpower. I guess I could do intelligence. There we go. I right, probably got a couple more levels. We'll do another intelligence. Willpower, personality. <laughs> I'm just level up, level up, level up. Well, that's it. Am I out? I'm out. Wow, I'm level 20 now. Holy crap. We started this video at level 8 or something? <laughs> I got one point in luck. Wow. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Alright, so all our skills are around averaging about 50 to 60, and then the minor skills are around 40 or so on average. Illusion's a little low. But wow, that's even even better than that, actually. And then we have tons of other miscellaneous skills that we've now trained in a, a remarkable amount. So you can just see the list there. Trying to compare things here. We're 46 in Sneak, which is nice. Where's our uh, lockpicking? Security's at 27, which is nice. Acrobatics, 37. Hand-to-hand -hand is 30. I've actually gotten Mercantile or Speechcraft training, and I couldn't find anybody who trained me in them. Spear, Enchant, Heavy Armor, Medium Armor, both decent. Heck, they're up there with our Light Armor skill now. Alright, so that's... Look at how much we can carry now, because our strength is so high. And look at all the health, and magicka, and stamina, and we're a beast now! <sighs> awesome! We've This is going to be so cool, and we're going to go and kick ass in this ruin in the, ne the next episode. I'm going to return to Kartog Point via my warp we set, and we will kick some ass, clear out the 6 South base, and punch Dareth Gares in the face of whatever his name is. Thanks for watching. See you guys then.